Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my blog. And as the title says, my first Easter in the Philippines. Well, <clears throat> to be honest with you, it's a lot different from the United States. I don't know why it's because of where I'm at. I'm up in the uh, Locos Norte region, which is the northern region. I believe it's region two. There, there isn't very many foreigners up here. I think there's a handful of us at that. Where basically, they celebrate Easter for what it is, not for Easter baskets or the the rabbit or or going out to the store and buying your Easter outfit. It's just the celebration. They have church in the morning, which they didn't have at this time because, of course, what's going on. But they basically they don't have they don't have the you know, the whole Easter egg egg hunt or anything like that. Now they, they might have it in the south as far as uh, Angeles City or Cebu or other places like that because it's more populated with foreigners. But up here, there's not, like I said before, there's not very many. So they have their own traditions and they have their own customs and they, they, they stay to them. Which is not a bad thing because I, I you know, Easter is kind of commercialized. You know, it's, it's all about the money. It seems like that anymore, you know. Who's got the prettiest outfit? Who's got the nicest suit? Who's got the biggest Easter basket? You know, they don't. They don't do that here. It's just, it is they. It is what it is. They just have it the way it is. But other than that, everything else is fine. My day went pretty well. It was hot. It was in the 90s. Today it's hot. I think it's like 88. 89, something like that. But what's the difference between 88, 89, and 90? Not much. <laughs> Humidity's way up there. Because right now it's kind of summertime. So, uh, it's hot. And I think June or July, the rainy season comes in and it rains every day. Not all day. Well, sometimes all day, but not every day. I've never been, I've never been to, to the Philippines during this time frame. Usually I'm here from, uh, Jan usually the January, the month of January, I'm usually here for, for the whole month. And then I go back to the States and I was working. But of course, as I said before, I'm retired now and I'm living here. But everything's going pretty good, you know. Yeah, I kind of missed, at first, I kind of missed the Western customs and everything like that. But I have to get used to it if I plan on staying here for a long term, which I do. Life's a lot better here, a lot cheaper. You don't spend everything you everything you have on something. Now there is people who come here and they spend a lot of money, a lot of money, and uh, they always say, "Oh, it's not cheaper." Yeah, yeah, it is if you don't live like a fool. I mean, I own my own home. I own. I don't make a payment. It's I bought it out outright. So and I. I have my, a truck and I have a motorcycle, so I don't owe anybody here anything as far as banks or lending places. And there, there is no insurance. You pay a one-time insurance when you first purchase your vehicle, and that's about it. Uh, other than that, you know, it's, it's, it's a different way of life. I get a drink of water. I don't know about you, but this quarantine is starting to get to me. I mean, <clears throat> just stay inside the house, going out one at a time. It's, it's, it's getting kind of rough. I mean, I'm not worried about food or anything like that because Miles grows a lot of vegetables, a lot of vegetables. And we got plenty of rice, but uh, it's just staying in the house. I mean, you can go outside of your own perimeter, but that's the way about it. I mean, I got so bored yesterday that I walk around the house in a complete circle for like 30 minutes. I just, I didn't go anywhere, but at least I was doing something. Wanted to paint the room yesterday, but it's, it's just too hot, man. It's just too hot. I know it's an excuse, but, you know, it is what it is. And, uh... Hopefully the end of the month this will be lifted. I'm hoping. No guarantees though. Nothing, nothing life ain't a guarantee, but hopefully it'll be lifted. 
I guess they figured out, I, I was watching this show a couple of days ago and how they figured out, I was always wondering how they know the uh, spike. It's when every day the numbers go up and when it gets to the point where it's not going up anymore, I, that's the spike. I said, okay, have one day is this calm and then all of a sudden the next day it goes up again and said, well then, it's not a spike. I asked the doctor, there's a doctor lives down the street from us and I was talking to him for a few minutes. So, whenever we hit that spike, we'll hit the spike, right? But you want to know something? I will have to say, the president, the government, and the people here in the Philippines got their stuff together. I mean, they're doing everything. They're doing everything they can. And, and I think they're doing a really a good job. That's how I feel. I just think they're doing a really good job. I think the only problem there is like Manila because that's a very populated area. A lot of people. A lot of people. So I think that's where they're having a major problem at. But the numbers ain't as high as other places. So you can be grateful for that. But uh, other than that, uh, I just thought I'd check in with y'all. There's really nothing going on. I just, like I said, this is my first Easter. It wasn't bad. You can't go to church because all the churches are shut down because of this quarantine. There's, I'm hearing from other people, though, there's some places that are open, but I don't know. If I don't see it with my own eyes, I don't believe it. But uh, other than that, you all have a good day and be safe and stay healthy. Love you. Bye.